Well, welcome to outer space, the great frontier. I sort of feel like going into you know song, you know. Anyway, you know, space travel is great, and trying to understand the planets and where they're located and so forth actually is fantastic math and fantastic astronomy, and all really all comes together with a logarithm. So let's take a look at a logarithm question where we have that. So here, you notice, is the sun, and it is hot, hot, hot. You don't want to touch that. And here's the Earth. Look, there we are. And at first it goes behind me, and then it goes around the sun, then it goes back behind me. I'm a big guy. Anyway, you know, if you want to actually compute the, the distance between, let's say, here's a, let's say this is a, um, a uh, star that's far, far away. And if you want to compute the distance, it turns out that there's a really neat way of doing that that just involves logarithms. So I want to tell you about that right now. So let's watch the sunset. And as the sun goes down on mathematics, oh, the logarithm, the log appears. Apparently there was a log there. I wasn't expecting that. OK, anyway. <laughs> so if you want to find the distance, actually, between um, Earth and, and uh, a star, here's the formula. Oh, I think I even have it for you to show you. It's actually this. m equals 5 log r and then minus 5. And what's r? Well, r is the uh, distance actually in parseconds. And what is, and what is m? Well, m is the thing we're trying to find. m is actually the, the, the distance that a lot of times scientists use. This is called the distance modulus, the distance modulus, which is actually just the logarithm in some sense of the um, of the distance between, between uh, two, two galactic things. So for example, suppose that the distance between Earth and this particular star was actually 1.5, 1.5, OK? So that is the, let's see, the approximate distance modulus for a star is 1.5. And what I want to do is I want to determine its distance from the Earth, OK? So I'm given m, and I want to find r given m, and I want to find r. So let's think about how we do that. So we slide this up. In fact, let me slide this up right here, and I'll put this over here. OK? So we're told, let me write down what we're told here. We're told that m equals 1.5. And now my mission is to find, is to find r. OK, so what do I do? Well, I know that 1.5 equals 5 log r minus 5. So if I bring this minus 5 to this side, that would be now becomes a plus 5. And so I see 6.5 equals 5 log r. If I divide both sides by 5, I would see that uh, 6.5 divided by 5 equals log of r. Now how could I solve this? Well, remember log with a nothing there, a naked log is log base 10. So I actually could convert this into the following. Log is the exponent. This exponent uh, raised to the, uh, used, I mean, 10 to that exponent will equal r. And so what I have here is r equals 10 to that exponent, 6.5 divided by 5. And so in fact, what is that? Well, we could turn that just on, and we can see uh, 6.5 divided by 5 equals 1.3, so 10 to the 1.3 power. And so what does that equal? Well, you could actually work this out uh, with a calculator that would be better than mine, because mine, oh, actually, I think I can do this one. Let's see if we can do this one. So 10 to the, oh, no, sorry, 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 sorry. You've got to use the second function, second function. 10 to the 1.3, yeah, that equals 19.95 stuff. OK? And these units, by the way, let's see, the units here are, these are now in light years. These are now in light years. So in fact, well, I'm sorry, uh, parsecs. These are the parsecs. So it's 19.95 parsecs. And it turns out that one parsec is approximately 3.3 light years. So in fact, 19.95 parsecs are actually, well, that times 3.3 light years. So if you want to know light years, I just multiply that by 3.3. So the, the star that I have in mind is 65.84 light years away from Earth. 
really, really far. And it turns out that this logarithmic measure turns out to be quite handy. So if you're given the logarithmic measure, you can easily figure out the actual measure just by plugging in and doing a little bit of log manipulation. So log manipulations actually allow you to understand the planets. Have fun. <laughs>